Hey, y'all. Salutations to the kindred spirits. I was doing my new hobby today where I make the stickers to put in the packages to send to the kindred spirits around the interwebs. Hey, y'all. How you doing? We're live on YouTube. Barely. Got some interesting things to look at today. Look at this. Got the Insta box. I got the ozone from Hanson Chin. Another curious item from, oh, this one's upside down. The WBD, Hanson's marketing team with his fancy names. Hey, I'm going to give this away. It's the Sven Pad. If you didn't watch last week's stream, you got about 15 minutes to go comment on it and win the Sven Pad. What's this? I got some bonus uh, swag to put in the Sven Pad. Look what I got. Advice from a con man. The lecture notes from last summer. A couple of tricks. One of the stickers. This is the last sticker we published. How's this camera looking? Sh should be uh, of interest. Look, we got the picture in picture. Today, I've changed the tech. I'm going to say hi to the kindred as we do this. Hello, Phoenix. How am I? I'm losing my mind on a daily basis. But that's nothing new. Hello, Matthew, and Alex is here as well. Greetings, sir. Yeah, man, that's what I'm thinking. We all love stickers. It's the backbone of my marketing push. Hey, Cat Cat, what's happening? Nick's in the house and barely, and hey, Yvonne's here. Uh, so, yeah, what was I, uh, where was I going here? We're, we're doing the giveaway. We got the stickers. I guess if you don't know where you get the stickers, um, I should tell you. I'll tell you what I've been doing all day. As I've been putting data into this site where, as we speak, I'm awaiting a huge box from the TCC company. Uh, as I say these words, hey y'all, if you get a, uh, if you give me some feedback, like Randall here, he seems to think I'm getting something right with the new tech. I'm coming in through the ATM. Normally, I come in through OBS and there's software involved. This is a hardware direct solution, which allows me to switch up the cameras and be a little more, uh, it doesn't matter. It's tech. Look what we're expecting. TCC wands. Everyone is wanted. The wands with the metal tips and the wood. They're on the way. They might be here today. They might show up during the stream. Inboxes. What inboxes have dollar dollar size? Here's I'm really looking forward to putting these things in my hand. The TCC sponge balls, rumored to be super soft. We'll see you later today. I guess maybe I'll have to do another uh, another unboxing of this stuff either later this week or I don't know. We're just making it up as I go. As I'm mentioning my jam, I'm going to mention this right here. Rebirth sale. It's ten percent off. Free stickers and what? I'm doing free shipping through this weekend. So through October 1st, you get free shipping, 10% off. Y'all come spend some money and, uh, you know, show a little love for the entrepreneurial efforts of your creator. <laughs> okay, there's your marketing. All right, as mentioned, last last week, live, go Kelman on that. We'll do the drawing for that later, and you'll get the swag and the stickers from the shop as well. All right, where are we going to start here? I know, it's a deal, right? Man, I, I'd, buy, I'd buy some myself, but I have so much already, in the words. All right, let's start, let's start about what happened in my world last week. I'm you know, going through my emails. I get an email from Hanson Chin Productions. Here's the email. Hey, Doug, you want to look at some of our stuff for free? I think we have some items you'd like. And I said, free, that's the right price. So while this is somewhat of an unboxing and a review, be aware these products were sent to me gratis. This is Ozone. Ozone. Maybe, maybe it would be prudent to present a little bit of a, a trailer while I kind of get some of the stuff out, out, out here. I looked at a little bit of this last week. This is a Hanson Chin release. We like Hanson Chin. This product, what is this, 20 bucks? It's not a bad price at all for this interesting release well, interesting i'm gonna unbox this thing get a get a thing ready the secret so that's the effect the air freezes as you blow a balloon, you blow a 
it instantly freezes and then the air is released. As you see that. Very unique effect. Impossible gift, is it? I mean, it's a balloon. Here, here is uh, it is a perfect party trip. Where's some more? Oh man, y'all, pardon, pardon the uh, pardon the interruption. UPS just showed up at my door. So I'm going to go grab that box, but I'm not going to do it right away. We're going to play another trailer from Hanson in a minute. I think we saw enough of that. And I'm, I'm what I was going to say during this trailer, what we were missing, which is so great about this effect, is the do as I do routine, which is not highlighted on the trailer. But it's you and a spectator. You each get a balloon. And while I'm talking about this, you get a box of secret things. The secret things are here. I, you know, when this was on the way, I was wondering what made it work, and I had some, I had some guesses. And when I opened the box, which is just two bags of balloons, I thought one of the bags of balloons was a gaff, and that that was my, uh, that my guess was right. But it wasn't right. I was way off base. I had no idea what the method was. We always like the printed materials in our, uh, in our tricks we receive. And uh, this one has the tutorial inside. You click a link, it takes you to a video and it teaches you how to do what I'm about to do. And I've only done this three times in my life. I'm not much of a balloon guy to begin with. So imagine you and a spectator doing this together. You're both blowing up balloons. I think it's fun if you do the this, you do. You let some of the air out. And then when you're ready to uh, make the magic happen, <clears throat> you freeze the balloon. Just like that. It freezes the air and time and space, and you're able to do this, and your spectator's balloon goes skyrocketing off through the air. So this is a balloon frozen in space and time. You can actually look inside the balloon, which is kind of weird. That's what a balloon looks like frozen in space and time from an old guy who has done this three times in his life. And maybe I should have done it five or six before I tried to uh, per perform the effect live on the internet. But never been known for my life choices. I just feel like I could have done that uh, a little bit more justice. And I just hope that I'm not exposing anything as I do this in high def live on the internet. How's this look? So this is Hanson's Ozone, and uh, we know it's easy because I didn't even practice. So you'll get two bags of balloons, which uh, I don't know, enough to do the routine a bunch. I've used the same balloon a few times. The gimmicks included, you get two of those. Uh, you're probably going to need two because of the nature of this effect. You're going to lose one of these things, I'll tell you right now. But for the price, if you have a mindset of blowing up a balloon and freezing the air well hey you're going to be happy with your 20 bucks you're going to get all the props you need you're going to get a great tutorial and you're going to uh, be able to do it so yeah that's that the ozone from hansen chin now item number two this is the one this is the one that maybe uh, a lot of the magic community could or should be curious about the wbd oh let's not let's not give the We'll cover up the tutorial. The water balloon dropper, packaged in all black. I'll bust some of this stuff out in a minute. We'll take a look at what it does. Let me put on the trailer for this, and then I'll go grab the TCC box, because I'm just jonesing to see what those sponge balls look like. But let's go over here to the water dropper, the water balloon dropper. I would have na named this something different if it was my release, and we'll talk about why in a minute. Uh, how much time do I got to go grab this box? In 2012, magician Red Tide performed the cups and balls using shark glasses with liquid and won the Fizzen Award. Now, he's about to reveal his secret to you. Hi, Hanson Chen here. 
Let me introduce to you the third holder from Black Holder series. WBD Water Bloom Dropper. So, what makes this holder unique? Let me show you. Hi, I'm Rui Tsai. Cheers. We will teach you how to use this device and how to produce liquid from an empty cup. True story. What do I got? 30 seconds? Be right back. Whether you want to produce an egg, a billiard ball, or multiplying balls, the WBD is your best choice. This is the next generation holder you have ever experienced. Alrighty then. <laughs> so during the during the commercial for the unboxing episode, I am over there unboxing the TCC order. We'll look at a couple of these things after we spend some time with Hanson Chin's products. Uh, so yeah, um, you want this. I think anyone who deals with spherical objects that they need to acquire in a secret fashion will want this. Let's get talking about it, Matthew. Can you set the gimmick to any balloon? So let's go here. Um, I feel like this lighting is a little bit dark. Let me turn this up a little bit and see if uh, that's not it. I have two monitors going today. One is showing my scene to be quite bright. One is showing it to be dark. I assume the truth lies somewhere in between. <clears throat> Let me just do it this way. So this is, in essence, a ball... A ball dropper. I need a, I feel like I need a little bit brighter background. This is a ball dropper, or this is one piece of a ball dropper. One piece of a ball dropper. It's quite flexible. It's got a belt clip. It's got a button. And the button activates these, uh, is it flanges on the sides there? And get a kind of a look at that. The remainder of the box is filled with a selection of holders. Can we see these holders? I'm going to grab a couple out here. You know what I'll grab is these. So I have two, two holders, one that will go on each side, and there's a total of eight of them within here. So what I'm about to hook up here is I'm going to do the something for an eight ball. I figure if it holds an eight ball, it'll hold anything any reasonable performer would want to hold. But like something this size would be to hold, uh, this is a Fikini style billiard ball. So you could hold it like this. And this is the way that the object gets gripped. Now, note, this holder at its most deceptive holds fragile objects. It holds eggs. This could hold an egg, right? It could be there without any, you know, real concern of breaking. And yes, it can hold water balloons. Although the, quite honestly, let me see, I get some picture-in-picture -picture action. Here we go. Look at that picture-in-picture -picture hardware. It's tiny, but it's there. The, the term water balloon dropper is a bit of a misnomer because it is not, in fact, a water balloon that drops during the production of water. Step one, let's not damage the prop live on the internet. Much like the ozone prop, I have opened and handled this one time. Does it go this way? 
No. I had no problem opening and handling this the first time I installed it. This time appears to be a little different. Let me let me be clear. I opened this thing. I put the clips in. I said, wow, that's super clever. I can't wait to show this to the internet. And then I took the clips out. And now I'm putting the clips back in. <clears throat> or not putting the clips back in, as the case might be. Well, I certainly don't want to damage it. And I'm one, maybe I had the wrong side. Is it left and right? Could that be a thing? Maybe it's left and right. Maybe that's a thing. That went in exactly like it should have. And I can't think of anything much less fun than seeing an old guy struggle with magic props on the internet. Boom! Better late than never. Holy cow. Man, that's right. Doug Kahn is human too. So this is the ball dropper set up. And what happens here when you close these, tension is built. It maintains this shut position until you push the button. When you push the button, this happens. So we put our ball in the, in the this is the eight ball. It could be an egg. And yes, it could be a water balloon. Water balloon. The tutorial explains that production in full, and some would say that production is worth the price of admission. Push the button. <laughs> sports were never my sports were never my forte. So this is the device. It is a hundred dollar device. So this is not our twenty dollar trick of the week or experimental thing. This is for a professional performer that needs access to their props in a in a devious, secretive fashion. You can hang this off a belt. You can hang it inside. You could also put it inside a jacket pocket so that you could hit it with your with your arm and the object would go down your sleeve. I don't know if I would do that with liquid, but that is the WBD. And when I say that I think he might have mismarketed that thing, I think it uh, should have just been called a ball dropper because a water balloon dropper is limiting. But what this thing, in fact, is exactly the opposite of that. It's not limiting at all. It gives you the access to multiple styles or sizes of droppers. And I think if I was going to do anything different with this product, it would have been marketed a little more broadly than a water balloon dropper. But hey, if you want to produce water in a cup or instantly, this will give you access to that. And I think I've already overstayed my time considering how long it took me to get that pro properly positioned. That has been your unboxing, Handsome Chins, WBD. If I can answer any questions. I'm watching the chat, y'all. Uh, how hard is it to hit the button? It's like James Bond easy. It's just tippy tap. Nothing to it. It's a uh, very light pressure. Yep, you can hit it with the palm of your hand. That's correct. All right, let's move onward and uh, let me turn down this brightness. Ooh, it's a bit much. This next this next one made me smile and smile. I, you know, I wish I could do that as a giveaway. Here's, here's what we're giving away today, the Sven pad. This allows you to force anything. One of the fine items that we've added to the shop at conjure.com, where if you're just joining us, reminder, we got a 10% off sale this week and free shipping. Crazy. All right. So as I do, when I make the orders for uh, the store, you know, for the things I offer the netizens, I pick things to test drive. And I decided I wanted to test drive this thing. I'd seen a few kindred spirits do the Insta box on the interwebs. And it was when I saw someone 
do this. They, uh, this is where the special sauce was. They used this prop as a deck holder. And now, now this prop has real world use. In other words, the thing that makes this secret magic happen is designed within this box. And the box looks like something that you might actually use in the real world to, to, um, to hold your deck of cards. So this is the Insta box. That's what it looks like. What does it do? Well, I think we're overdue for a little bit of magic. So let's do that now, and maybe we'll get a close-up on uh, on the cards. Insta box here. We'll give the cards a shuffle. Probably in the real world, you want to have someone just uh, like pick a card. I'll just pick one for us. We'll uh, we'll go at random. <clears throat> Oh, that's a good random random card, the Queen of Diamonds. You're probably going to want to do a couple things with this Queen of Diamonds before you get to the Instabox effect, but I'm going to get to the effect. That's what we're talking about, the, the Instabox appearance. It's an appearance of a card, but to make something appear, you have to make it vanish. So I'm going to do that now. Like a ghost through a castle wall, I'll just leave the ether of the Queen of Diamonds floating right here. Let me point it out. It's about right here in space and time. And fortunately for us, the Insta box is perfect at capturing things in space and time. Now that's the front, that's the back. I'm gonna go right for the card, which is right about here. And there she blows the queen of diamonds inside. It's in there folks, inside the Insta box. And that's what that looks like. Holy cow. I don't know. That look that looked good from my side. How'd it look from yours? Maybe a small myth handling right there. And while I have spent, I don't know, what did I I must have done this about two dozen times yesterday. I wanted to film this for a short video, and I will. I know y'all haven't seen me on the shorts platform. I've been struggling so hard with my camera trying to get this thing figured out. I haven't been filming much. So I wish I could take your money for this lovely prop. When I go to Murphy's Magic and order these for my uh, for my customers, they only have blue-backed bicycle. And I don't carry any blue-backed bicycle props. So go give Brent Braun your money or go give Vanishing Ink your money. Or if you want to keep your eyeballs on Conjure.com, when they have the red ones back in stock, I will have them for you. This is not a cheap prop at 50 bucks, I think. And it only does this one thing. And I, I would I would emperor caveat this appearance of the queen is likely to wear out. It's, it's something that's going to not last forever, probably. Everyone's getting impatient for the free stuff. I'm going to give it away right after I'm done uh, blabbering about this. And then we'll look at a few TCC things until about 4.30, and then we'll all go enjoy our evenings. Team Blue. I almost ordered the blue ones, but here's the thing. They're not cheap, right? Like it's a $30, $50, $50 card trick. So what am I going to order four blue ones that I don't really want and have the $200 of card tricks people may or may not buy hanging around? But if you want to make this trick happen for you, you're going to have fun doing it. It's a devious piece of work. It really is. All right, Randall, I'm going to dish some of that out maybe afterwards. But I do feel like 30, 40 minutes is the sweet spot for the interwebs. Maybe I come back later this week and we'll look at more of this TCC stuff. Joseph, thank you so much for the kind words regarding the membership. The membership's about to get a big brum, brum, rev up as I begin filming my online course for Sleight of Hand Magic. We're going to be teaching all the basics as seen by Doug Kahn. I'm going to upload all these videos over the next two months. Look for 50 or 60 of them. You're going to get all the basic knowledge, the basic knowledge. And interweave with that, I'll do some uh, advanced tutorials along the way. I'm also thinking this. I'm thinking an unboxing member session is 
in order. And I'm thinking maybe again Friday we could line up something. Something this weekend. We'll do an unboxing. This is where we take some of these products I've been looking at, do a deep dive, and we can do a little bit more exposure than what you get on the public forums. And that's what we'll do this weekend for the inner, for the uh, members. So y'all stay tuned for that service. All right, let me get uh, let me get this giveaway stream up. And you got about three minutes left to go comment on the. Yes, yeah, Scott, but you can afford all the cool cool stuff. Some people just have to rely on luck. <laughs> some people need the some people need the wins. And, and and thank you, Scott. I was very happy to put some stickers in your decks of cards this week when we packed your things up. <clears throat> All right, where, where are we going here? We're going to the dun, 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 YouTube comment picker. It's a random comment picker. We use it because it's free. I put in the address of this video, and we're going to fetch the comments now. Anything goes because that's how I roll. We will not include replies, and we will get the comments now. 27 comments. Well, congratulations to anyone who's entered. You have a 1 in 27 chance of winning this thing. I don't see any reason to dilly-dally. Let's pick it. Nick! Yes! Drag out here! Look at the good karma coming through for a kindred spirit. Been showing up on the reg. We see him in the Discord. We see the YouTube shorts you're posting with your strong energy. What a great winner. And I can't, I can't, I couldn't be more happy to send this gift your way, dude. Congratulations. I'll put some extra things in there and uh, you know where to find me. On the Discord, go drop your uh, go drop your address in a DM and I'll get that to you in the mail this weekend. Keith, what the heck, man? You are too late. Keith <laughs> Keith shows up just in time to be late. But truthfully, on this contest, you were late if you if you didn't comment from last week's live. I make it reasonably easy to, to make things happen. Things are happening now. I'm getting a message from my interwebs that David Miller is shopping at conjure.com. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Speaking of people that constantly support the jam. All right, y'all. Look, crazy enough. Let's let's move. We're moving on. We're moving on. We got the giveaway. We unboxed the things. Now we're out in left field. We're going to get pure, unfiltered, never seen unboxings. I've got over $1,000 of magic to look at. But of all the things I'm going to look at, and, and I'm talking about brass products and new wands and suede leather close-up pads and fancy, of all the things I'm curious about, it's this. The TCC sponge balls, rumored to be uh, like uh, the super soft variety. Are they? Feels like it. Let's open this bag and find out. And let me start here. Let me start here. What a great bag to ship sponge balls in. Not a box that you're going to throw away. Uh, not a, just a simple Ziploc, but something with a little bit more finesse to it. And now I can carry a, a bag like this with me to my professional gigs. All right, so we know first and foremost, these things came from China, smushed in a box, and right out of the bag, they are squishy. So my inclination is this. I'm going to leave two of these out. I want to go run to the bathroom and like and uh, run these under some water to see if they'll like, expand to a to, the, to a, a more rounded state, but right off the bat, these are a bit out of shape, but the texture, the texture is ideal. These are indeed relatable to the Goshman super soft sponges. And I think if you've been looking for a replacement for the two inch super soft variety, this might not make you sad. Although these are a little bit wonky, I'm fully expecting them to come into rounded form as they stay out of the bag. And maybe this, tune in Friday. We'll see what happens after a day or two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
All right, so out of the bag, super soft texture, good. A little bit out of shape, which I don't know if that's a big deal. Maybe it is a little. We'll find out in a day or two after these things expand from their trip in China. And I'll get a couple of these wet and we'll return to a review on those next time I talk about TCC stuff. I got so much TCC stuff, probably what's going to happen is next Wednesday, I do just an all TCC special, and he did send me a couple of review items as well. Let's uh, take a, a look at, well, let's just, I can't help myself. Y'all know I'm a close-up pad junkie. This is their suede pad. I'm going to go ahead and open this thing. Oh, man. What else did I put over here? Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at one of their wands. And I don't know why I grabbed one of these. I was hoping to find a brown one. I've, I've always carried their black uh, chop cup. This is one of the Hallmark TCC items. Oh, yeah. This is the brown one. This is a great package if you're looking for a good chop cup. It includes the chopped baseballs and a carrying bag. You know, I don't know if people realize the value of a product like this. These balls alone are uh, retail for like thirty or forty dollars. You go buy a set of Leo Semesters chopped balls. Uh, traditionally, these will be a little bit out of shape, out of the box. You can roll them back in the shape a little bit. And while I've always had the the black one, I feel like the the brown or tan is a little more visible for some performance situations. So when we were putting an order together for the TCC stuff, I wanted to make sure to get those. It is, it is Lux, per se. And yes, Gary is a TCC junkie. In fact, he's one of the reasons I have this stuff in front of me here today. <clears throat> let's take a look at this. Uh, let's take a look at this suede close-up pad. Man. And this, this was a kindness from Roy Waugh and his TCC folks. Oh, baby. That is nice. All right, so what do we got here? Hard wood back. So this is a wooden backed close-up pad. I'm used to a very plush top. This is a very fine surface. What is that? We don't even know what that surface is, but it feels really nice. We'll have to test it with the coins. Y'all know I love my Patrick Prezecki plush close-up pads. I have them custom made to fit my DJ laptop, laptop stands that I use in performance. We're doing a push through riffle shuffles here. So if you're wondering what, oh, we're not doing that. <laughs> Let's try and actually do that. There we go. Nice cushion, not too much, a little bit firm. If you're looking for something that you can take and use as a laptop, a lap pad, I feel like this is going to be spending lots of time with me on the couch. Man, what a cool texture. Will it work with this trick, though? Speaking of things I carry at the shop, this is the N2G replica set, which is uh, the set I've started using in my professional work now. And as I go try this out, let's go ahead and open one of these. Not going to focus. Open one of these TCC wands. You know, I, I was going to pick one of these. I ordered 18 of them. I've got several of each variety. Um, what is the base wood? You know, you're probably going to want to check the TCC site for the full product description on this. Like, I did not add this mainly due to shipping costs. Like, this is a this is a heavy item, and it's very big. So when I choose things that I can sell to people, you know, that I can offer, uh, first of all, I only sell things I use. So let's start there. I might use this, but I haven't yet, so I'm not selling right? But this, a little big, untested, and uh, I, don't know, I don't know what kind of what it is, but I bet TCC will tell you. Uh, 
look, I do the best I can, Keith. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it's a train wreck. This is the story of my life. So this looks like the rosewood wand. And as I was saying, I was going to pick one of these for myself. I didn't know which one. We're going to do it Harry Potter style. This one just picked me. I like the weight of this wand. It's got a little, it's got a little weight to it. It's, it's beautiful. Metal tips. They don't say what kind of metal, but it is uh, protected. Love the feel. It's a little, it's a little on the heavy side from the compared to the silicone wand. I've been using the silicone wand we sell. I now have like five different wands I've been rotating. But man, I'm going to be happy to put this in the rotation. Looks good, feels good. And let's see uh let's see if this pad's going to cooperate with this modern miracle. Watch as I do nothing, but I do it very well. We're cutting out the patter here. I'm just moving these coins from place to place. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Again, I'm a little bit spoiled from the perfect plush of the Prezeki pad. But what I'm doing here is executing tabled purse palms off the surface. And for me, this is the acid test of a decent close-up pad. If I can do that, I'm good to go. This one's going to travel off the bottom like a bank shot in a pool game. It's going to bank over here to this side. And yeah, that's what uh, that's what that looks like. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead and call that a success and call both of these products un unsurprisingly beautiful. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about this next week. Maybe I'll do a TCC special. I'll give you the full scoop on what exactly this beautiful pad is. Educate myself and attempt to educate you. And if you're looking at the wands, let me give you let me give you one last plug for uh, for the website over at conjure.com, where we have a sale, ten percent off, and free shipping through the weekend. I do have a magic wand category now, where you can go peruse the black silicone, the Monzo wood, the ornate black, the red silicone, the rosewood, the the African black. I think I'm a proud owner of the Rosewood Wand. Rose Wand. Let's we need to edit that page. We'll go fix the spelling on this. And on that note, I guess I need to go back to doing some office, some office work. You know, cat cat, this is a this is a bit heavy and big for a for a wand vanish, and I, I don't even have anything to bring it back with. It's a, Again, I'm so used to using the uh, lightweight silicone wand that having something a little heavier in my possession. Um, yeah. <clears throat> that's what you get. That's what you get out of the blue. So yeah, that's my uh, that's my offerings for today. Yeah, we don't do it that way with people behind us. As I sign off, let me thank David Miller once again for shopping at the site. Let me thank everyone for their time, attention, and energy. And again, hey, congratulations, Nick. I'm happy to go pack up this spin pad and send it to you. Take a deep breath. It's going to be a wrap for now. Get the coffee in me. Time to go do some office work. Thanks for hanging with me, y'all. I'll see you uh, Friday. Ciao for now. Peace.